117, 118. Hey guys, we're going to talk about concentric and eccentric contractions of muscles today. So this is easily like the top or second thing that people just miss and mess up all the time. So we really got to work hard to get this straight. It's going to affect you the rest of the time through this program and in your profession. So when I'm doing this exercise, I know osteokinematically, my knee is extending here and my knee is flexing here. And on all those flashcards you learned uh, for your uh, anatomy and physiology will tell you the quadriceps do knee extension. But you know what the quadriceps also do? Knee flexion in a controlled manner. So you could sit here all day and do this like I am. What am I on, like 121 now? My hamstrings are never gonna get any more work because my quads are working the entire time. So how is that when it says on the flashcards that the quads do knee extension? So let's take a closer look here. So come on over here, take a look. I'll show you my quads are working the entire time. So I'm gonna kick forward. This is an open chain exercise, by the way. That is a concentric with a C, concentric contraction of my quads. They got shorter, so I'm gonna let it go back down. So concentric, the distal end, so you learn that insertion point on the tibial tuberosity, it's moving up towards the origin. That is a concentric muscle contraction. Eccentric is when that same muscle is working, but the insertion point moves away from the origin. So now it's moving farther away. That is an eccentric contraction. So a concentric contraction of my quads, which is what's on the flashcards, gives you knee extension. An eccentric contraction of your quads is going to give you knee flexion. It's very important that we understand the difference in that. So let's look at a few other muscles and motions. So now we should be piecing together open chain, osteokinematics, concentric and eccentric muscle contractions. So let's take our uh, middle traps and rhomboids, for example. They're going to help retract the scapula. So when I'm doing this exercise here, <coughs> This is concentric. My scapula is retracted when I do this. But when I start to let it go back, I'm not changing the muscles. My serratus anterior is not protracting my scapula. My scapula is protracting because of the eccentric contraction of my rhomboids and middle traps. Let me show you with the straight pullback. So when I pull back, that's retraction. My scapulas are closer together. That is the concentric contraction for the rhomboids and middle traps. Now, my scapula is protracting, but that is an eccentric contraction of the exact same muscles. Rule number one, do not change the muscle. If you change the muscle, I'm going to yell at you and go crazy. When you're doing an activity, unless the resistance changes in terms of changing direction or moving gravity around, then the muscle never changes with an activity. So anytime I do a row, and I row back, concentric, open chain by the way, eccentric, never change the muscle. If you change the muscle, you're gonna miss half the questions on the final, promise. So let's take another look at another muscle. Concentric, eccentric, let's look at the bicep. So with the bicep, this is all open chain, concentric, the insertion moved towards the origin, eccentric bicep. So now we should be able to start incorporating concentric, eccentric, open chain, closed chain, and osteokinematic motion. So this is going to be a great example to look at. What motion is occurring at my elbow? Flexion, concentric bicep. What motion is occurring at my elbow? Extensions occurring. I'm extending, I'm extending, I'm extending. What muscle? Don't you dare change that muscle. Still the bicep but I thought it said the tricep extends the arm. It does, concentrically. So I need to do this. I need to switch where gravity is. Concentric tricep for extension. Now what's happening at my elbow? It's flexing. And it's still the tricep because it's eccentric. Never change the muscle when you have your activity, okay? So remember, open chain bicep, concentric bicep, elbow flexion open chain bicep, extensions occurring, eccentric bicep. Both concentric and eccentric contractions are isotonic muscle contractions. 
Isotonic muscle contractions are when there is a elongation of the muscle. Either it's getting longer with eccentric or it's getting shorter with concentric, okay? There are two other types of muscle contractions. Isokinetic, which is never the right answer unless there's a machine. I can talk more about what isokinetic uh, muscle contractions are, but they deal with a speed variable and unless there's a machine, it's never gonna be the right answer, so never pick it. The other one is isometric. So when we're doing those triceps, isotonic, everything's moving. So we have concentric tricep, eccentric tricep. Isometric, no movement is occurring, but my triceps are clearly contracted or this would happen. So isometric, M, think of mountain. You're not moving that, okay? Um, isotonic, things are moving. I 